Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels. Today I'm going to be talking about summer holidays, so let's jump right into it. Now, it can be a bit of a very busy time of year, and again, it can be very hectic uh, planning a, a summer holiday. But again, if you do it in advance, then you are going to more likely to get the accommodation of your choice. Um, again, if you are family tra uh, traveling um, or lo uh, looking for a si single room, then I would definitely book, say, for instance, a year in advance uh, to basically guarantee the accommodation that y uh, you want and um, to do that you can go online on the websites or look in the brochures also if um, you're looking to book for a family of three or four even um, you can get a free child at place which a family of three would be paying for two full adults but then they would get the child free um, also, if it's a family of four, then you would be paying for two adults, basically, and then you get your children a percentage of the adult price, the other child. Um, and again, different uh, brochures vary, but uh, again, um, if you but well in advance and you're guaranteed to know where your accommodation, what hotel or apartments or villa or studio you're staying in, for instance, and you get a free child place and yes, you've, uh, you are guaranteed um and you also are guaranteed to get a reduction of the, the second child obviously if you can't get a a first child place um then again you would have to pay the child at price for first and second child uh, but the second child will uh, will always be a higher price than what the first child will be and um, again you're very lucky if you do get those free child places because again it makes it a heck of a lot cheaper Again, you can book a couple of weeks be uh, beforehand or um, on spec, but it really depends on whether there's room on in your accommodation or on your flight. Um, again, if if you're booking. Um, for a group of people again i would i would definitely book well in advance especially if there's a large group of people going with you and um, because again hotels get uh, and apartments get full up just like that and um if you do book in advance then you basically know your resort and um, and you also know your accommodation um if um if however it's just the two of you then if you do want to set it save money and you're not really bothered in where you're going for instance then you can uh, then you can but last minute, for instance, 
so but then it will be a surprise basically um your resort um or and uh, your accommodation so i mean if you paid that bit more extra then in instead of say a three star accommodation you probably could get four star accommodation but again um it would it 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 would it, it would vary re it really whether it would be for it for you um again other things to keep in mind um, not all hotels are children friendly um, again in the UK or abroad and again um, some hotels abroad are especially for ch made especially for children and are very children friendly so again if uh, you read your uh, descriptions and you book in advance then you'll know which hotels you can take children in and which hotels are just adult only ex uh, exclusives again if you're looking to travel on local buses and um, in the summer p period and um, again it can be busy especially in cities um, if you're looking to travel on the tube for instance then it's basically all, always busy um, no matter what time of the year you're going um, but again you can but, but if you're going on the tube but la at last minute there and then the tube in at London um, again whether you get a, a seat in place or whether you have to stand is another thing um, same for trains trains um, again are more expensive they do get you to place a quick quicker than coaches but again the train basically charges for convenience um, most of the time more expensive than Nash Express and your Align coaches but you do get there a lot quicker by train than what you do by coach also with a train you're not guaranteed a seat so you may have to stand so again if you're uncomfortable with standing then uh, the train is not likely to be it be for you if you're traveling by car then again easter period is going to be very busy because people are going on holiday day trips and going to visit relatives excuse me that's just the washing machine on the go and <laughs> um, so again it's definitely recommended for, uh, for peak periods such as Easter summer and at Christmas to book in advance um, unless you want a last minute day away you're not really bothered on your resort or your accommodation too much you just want a holiday to get away from it all which for some people again that, wor that works um, and you can get some really good deals that way um, as well so thank you for watching please like and subscribe I love all you subscribers Merry Christmas and have a happy new year 
and I'll see you on Sunday for a celebrity special so please keep watching if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe and thank you bye